Motaz El Safdi. He is an independent artist and curator, born in 1969 in Alexandria, Egypt, where he lives and works. In 1992, he graduated from the Department of Painting in the Faculty of Fine Arts at Alexandria University. From 1995 until 2004, he worked as a plastic arts specialist at Creativity Hall in the General Authority for Culture Palaces in the Ministry of Culture. From 2005 until 2011, he was curator and artistic director in the group of artists and writers Alexandria Atlieri. In addition, in 2009, he is the founder and director of the Ian Group for International Artistic Cooperation with artist Riam Hassan in Alexandria, Egypt. In 2019, he founded Vast Gallery, the virtual art space, and in 2019, he traveled to Saudi Arabia for residency. El Safdi, as a curator, organized and curated many arts events. He established several partnerships for projects in the visual arts. He was the curator of the 22nd Al Marsam Group Exhibition Contemporary Arts, which was held in 2022 in Vesa Virtual Art Space. He was also the curator of the Windows Talk Exhibition by the Saudi artist Faisal Al Kudaidi, which was held in 2022 at the Pure Art Gallery in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. He is the founder and curator of Points Exhibitions for Visual Arts. The first one held in 2007 for Egyptian artists in the Alexandria Atelier. The second held in 2014 for international and Egyptian artists at the Goethe Institute in Alexandria. The third held in 2017 for Egyptian artists at Darb 1718 Center in Cairo. The fourth held in 2020, one for international and Egyptian artists in Vaz, the virtual art space. El Safdi was co-curator of the Image of the World project, which was held in 2014 and continued to 2018. Funded by the Benetton Foundation, these were held in Egypt, Nigeria, Liberia, Iraq, Oman, Kuwait, and Yemen. He is the founder and curator of the BNLA for Small Paintings with the Artist, Reem Hassan, which was held in 2015 at the Alexandria Atelier in Egypt. He is the founder and curator of the Male Art Exhibition with the artist Reem Hassan, which was held in 2014 and 2015 at the Alexandria, Egypt. Also, he is the founder and curator of the AA International Artists Workshop with the artist Reem Hassan. This project was held in 2006 for visual arts. The second was held in 2008 for female artists. The third was in 2012 for young artists. He is also a curator of Alexandria at the Beicham Biennale for young artists from Europe and the Mediterranean from 2006 to 2018. He was also a curator of the International Youth Salon of Alexandria Atelier from 2006 to 2012. El Safdi was the Alexandria curator of the Ramey Multimedia Project, which was held in 2006 and 2007. This project was held in cooperation with the Alexandria Atelier, the Ekim Foundation in Marseille, the Shams Foundation in Beirut, and the Studio Azuro in Milan. El Safdi, as an artist, has participated in many group exhibitions and individual. Even it was locally or internationally, since 1990 until now and held four private exhibitions, first one in the 2020 retrospective exhibition Impression for Impressive in a virtual art space Vaz Gallery. 
Second one, in the 2004 video art special show under separate cover, in the Gezira Center in Cairo. Third one in 2002, show installation and collage, Akhenaten Gallery, an art center in Zamalek, Cairo. Fourth one, in 1999 show installation and painting, Akhenaten Gallery, an art center in Zamalek, Cairo. Now we will talk about the concept of his artistic work. From 1992 to 2000, it was interesting for him to experiment with different materials in his works, such as types of fabrics or various sizes of natural wood, on which the effects of nature appear. And in that period, he used symbols and images of sculptures, pharaonic, as a metaphor for this great civilization tried to view it from a different perspective than its predecessors. This approach was purely symbolic and distant from realism in an attempt to present a new vision in tackling the civilization. For this reason, his visual artwork relied on the strength of design and ideas derived from this form of art. He used different materials in installation works, some of which were displayed at the 8th edition of Cairo International Biennale 2001, where he focused on highlighting the spirit of the civilization and expressing his eagerness to restore the strength and glory. Sabine Schutz, the art critic, give us her opinion about his work in this bien lay in Kemet magazine, 26 April 2001, and she said, Above all, such contributions arouse interest, which succeeds in connecting cultural and social traditions and positions of the own country with artistic styles. The artist Muataz El Safdi, originating from Alexandria, sits down in his factory, back to civilization, apart from the origins of the culture, in his Egyptian homeland, of which he reminds in the form of stone and king's portraits, it draws surprising topicality from the age-old Faranak, picture language, in interaction with ciphers from current language systems, Richard Waffenden, culture editor in Cairo Times Magazine, wrote in April 2002 about El Safdi's exhibition in Aknatoon Gallery and said, There is little more satisfying in an exhibition than finding a concept that could have easily gone horrendously wrong, but instead turns out perfectly. This is the case with the latest exhibition by Moataz El Safdi taking two of the most misused ideas in Egyptian galleries, pharaonic art and recycled materials, L Safety manages, L Safety manages to combine the two and produce fresh, invigorating work. A series of forms are intended to represent different gods. While it is difficult for non-experts to recognize the gods, the material and the clever use of wooden circles the skewers again, and parts of the door handles as decoration produces a nice regal effect. The most impressive pieces are those that once again include ping pong balls and the painted thickly textured wood. The effect is that of rich tar and the half balls appear as though they have grown out of the tarred wood. It is intriguing, and while it is meant to suggest temples on the landscape, it can stimulate many different interpretations. The combination of well-prepared and well-handled recycled materials produces very aesthetically attractive works that then suggest the pharaonic elements. Al Safdi's careful and precise work has produced his most impressive exhibition yet. At this phase, he transitioned gradually from visual to composite work. From 2001 to 2005, his artwork was motivated by another subject and field, that is humanity and its various and fundamental influences in forming any society. He was concerned with how it kept on crashing and breaking in the face of changing global politics. 
So his video artworks aim to express such concepts as war and peace in the video in 2002, Life Like a Coin, which followed to the ideas of the generations that will follow and how they will view this century which will become part of human history. In the video in 2003, Modern Civilization, also, this project War and Peace continued in 2022 by artwork's title, The Target Isn't As It Seems, its installation project, painting, text, and three objects in virtual Hall Vaz Gallery. The artist and professor Reem Hassan gave us her feedback about this project and said, Mu'taz El Safdi's experiences continued 20 years ago until the trilogy of War and Peace was completed through his third work, entitled The Target Isn't As It Seems, which he built in an integrated manner within the boundaries of the virtual hall that he devoted to presenting his work. This virtual space is an alternative to the Alexandria Atelier Hall. Here we see that the artist has drawn complementary borders, for his vision of the idea of war and peace that have been addressed by many writers, poets, and politicians throughout the history of the world. Some in sequential and accelerated movements and harmonies so that the viewer cannot seize them due to the speed of their movement and their succession in front of the viewer, and standing in the middle of the hall is the shape of a large-sized bullet that gives a sense of the large Dana up, enormous size, and makes it alert to launch and ready for rapid movement so that it can to penetrate the walls and completely destroy the place and make behind it the lens of the automatic weapon. And I think if this exhibition were in a real space, this work would become an interactive work where each recipient could look through that hole and he could point that target at any of the flying bullets stacked on those walls regularly and in pure succession. And from here, the plastic scene of the presented artwork clears for us that this issue is a controversial issue and needs us to address it with visual analysis, and we have reasons for logical solutions. Al Safdi's work presents to us the same question, who's next? Who will have a role in the issue of war and peace that has been raised since the beginning of creation since man was created on earth? He is rushing for peace. Unfortunately, there are also those who are pushing for war. Although his experience resulted in several video artworks, such as women's attempts to break free from the constraints of society in the video in 2004 under a separate cover, and lastly, he discussed changes that will affect weak developing countries' societies either by nature or force in the video in 2005 change. However, oil painting has always been present since 2006, and until now, he presented many paintings based on the projections of nature and its effects on our lives, the changes it causes on different surfaces, and how it translates into different color spaces and performances. And through the abstract method, his works took on the logic of ambiguity extremely frank. He may need more analysis clearly from a critic or specialized analyst in order to be able to decipher the parts that they always aspire to draw, which are the interconnected or adjoining levels that are always similar to him with what is going on around him in terms of conflicts, problems, and issues. He can express about it through successive steps, such as what happens in the lines of the abstract artwork. In his experience in the field of painting, and indeed we agree with the work of Moataz El Safdi. So the color lines or the group of colors that we can call the group of colored lines are only a group of spaces that contain many words and meanings, which comes out of the artist's mind to spread many and multiple meanings, sometimes in the form of dots and sometimes in the form of swimming creatures in viscous liquids, and at other times in the form of very fine manuscripts in the form of straight waves that do not stop flowing like water waves, that a stone causes when it falls on calm water surface. The artist and researcher in the aesthetics of contemporary art, Dr. Mostafa Issa, 
says in the introduction to Catalog of the Virtual Exhibition, Impression from Impressive Organized by Moataz L. Safety in Vast Gallery, during July 2020. It is obvious that El Safdi possesses this ongoing sense informing his color palette, which is dominant with red, cadmium yellow, neutral grays, green and blue, with reluctant white. We therefore observe an experience that easily follows a vision that observes nature in stillness and mobility, creating an artistic equation consistent with the rationality of objects in their new relationships. However, nature is not portrayed with regards to the outside world separately from the artist's conscience, and therefore he resorts to reducing marginal aspects by neutralizing the external energy of elements to observe its inner energy, giving way to highlighting the invisible. El Softi's experience is motivated by effects of abstraction, which creates its own expressional state in accordance with the requirements of his state, in addition to the effects of coincidence and spontaneity on colors and lines, which showcase that the structure of his painting follow the flow and movement of the brush in the presence of tranquility and quietness resembling the silence we are eager to hear. The biography of an artist reveals the value of his artistic experience as well as the main and critical artistic lines and routes and their transition. The biography of Moataz El Safdi translates the pre-mentioned approach, which unveils an ambition to adopt roles that create a language and determines an artistic method and a vision. El Safdi takes the initiative to organize major events in Egypt and successfully takes his responsibility as an organizer and evaluator. His cultural collaboration with art organizations reflect his knowledge of the artistic scene in Egypt and the world. I believe that such events were successful and influential also. It is to his credit that his interests were not limited to what he creates in his gallery, as he crossed this limited space to wider spaces that accommodate the visions of others in a way that enriches the roots of creative work on both individual and collective levels. And last, but not least, this video was created to present the creative experience of the artist Moataz El Safdi and to get acquainted with it closely and about the stages of its development, whether he was a curator or a creative artist. Thank you for watching and see you later through the audiovisual channel Muga for Contemporary Art. See you soon.